Hello and welcome back to my High Performance Dojo. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master F. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my personal meditation practice because I know there's a lot of mystery out there around how much should I meditate, when should I meditate, what type of meditation should I do? So I wanna share with you my personal practice and then just give you some ideas of what you can do for yourself. But really, there is no wrong way to meditate. I've talked about this before. As long as you're putting intention into being here now, you're doing it right. So the first thing, when do I meditate? For me, I wanna start my day off on the right foot. So I meditate pretty much when I wake up and I'm super lucky that I live really close to the beach here. So my normal routine is I walk down to the beach and I start my meditation practice. So first thing in the morning is usually my routine. And then I'm always practicing and trying to learn new meditation techniques. So oftentimes that means I'm doing it later in the day as well. But every day in the morning, I anchor myself with my meditation routine. And then if I do more stuff, it's later in the day. So how often do I meditate? Well, I make sure that I'm doing it at least once a day. But if I miss a day, I don't beat myself up. I think about it a lot like exercise. I know if I consistently meditate, consistently train my mind at least five times a week, I'm going to have a very healthy, strong mind creating the things I want in the world. In the same way, if you exercise at least five times a week, you're gonna have a very healthy body, healthy heart that's gonna fuel you through your life. So that's how I think about meditation. I usually do it every day, but I definitely do it at least five times a week. The duration for my meditation usually ranges between 15, 20 minutes all the way up to an hour. So to make sure I'm anchored every single day, I feel I need at least 15, 20 minutes in my routine to make me feel good, to make sure that I'm ready to start the day. But then oftentimes I wanna do other things in meditation. I'm constantly learning new techniques, practicing new things, exploring new things in my own mind. So if I'm doing that, then the meditation practice stretches. Sometimes it can get up to an hour. Sometimes it can be up to two hours. But really, I don't think of meditation as something that I have to do. I'm always playing. So I'm just having fun. I'm learning all these new techniques. I'm trying them out. So if you're someone just getting started and you're listening to this, you only need 15, 20 minutes to start your day. And really, if you're just, just starting, five minutes a day is plenty to start building that routine. So now I wanna take you high level through my meditation routine. Maybe at one point I will actually do the whole meditation routine, but it would take a long time to explain it all, teach you every part of it because it's pretty advanced. But at high level, I wanna take you through it. So I do something very simple to get started. I just start off taking deep breaths in through my nose, out through my mouth and I'm actually standing up usually and standing up usually outside if I can on, on the earth and so what I'm doing is I'm grounding myself into the earth and so I do a technique where I'm working with my root chakra and I'm going to say some stuff that maybe you don't understand that's okay it may be a little bit high level or advanced but I'm going to give you this information anyway and maybe we can dive into it later on but I'm doing a root chakra meditation where I'm pulling energy up through the earth grounding myself so I feel grounded in the earth. That's really important for me when I start my day. So I'm grounding with that root meditation, feeling that I am solid here and now present. So after I finish my grounding meditation, I move into a oneness meditation where I basically take my mind down into the center of the earth's core. And so I do so by practicing awareness of everything around me. So I can close my eyes and picture that I can see 360 around me and then I can see 360 degrees looking at me. And when you do something like this, you automatically gain this 360 degree awareness. It's very cool if you play with this sometime and maybe I'll make a video on this in the future. So I draw myself to the inner earth core and then I imagine that I am the inner earth core. I spanned out it into the outer earth's core. I expand even more in through the earth's mantle and then I expand all the way out to the earth's outer crust. And then once I get there and I go through that full experience of being the whole earth, I start to expand out into all the plants all the vegetation, all of those plants living on the entire earth, I expand out into being all that. Once I finish that, I expand out even further into expanding into all the living creatures, all the animals in the earth, including afterwards humans as well. And then I expand all the way out through the ether, through the earth's atmosphere. So I become one with the whole earth. When I do this, there's a, a very interesting thing that happens in your mind where you kind of shift into the state of oneness, where you feel like, there's no separation between you and everything else around you. You just become one with it. It's a really peaceful, wonderful state. Helps you feel very connected and, and peaceful, which I think is what a lot of us are getting after. We wanna feel peaceful when we meditate. So I do that oneness meditation. After I finish my oneness meditation, I shoot that energy 
down through my crown chakra and I fill myself with energy from the cosmos. And this is more of a creative energy. So I fill my body with this type of energy and then I go into a state of manifesting everything that I want in my life. And so I'm visualizing, imagine that I have everything that I want already, all the things that I'm working towards. Because of course, when you're in this state of oneness, you're like, ah, oh, I don't need anything, I'm good. But I know there's ways I wanna affect the world. I have a vision for my life. And so that's when I step into that vision fully and I feel it as if it's real right now, completely present, I'm living that reality right now. And so I do that with that constant cosmic flow of energy through my body, visualizing that happen and getting really clear, feeling like it's completely real. Once I anchor it, I just move into a final phase of my meditation, which is gratitude. I feel the deep emotions of gratitude for my health, for my family, for all the relationships I have, for the wealth I've created, for this beautiful earth we get to live on, for all the opportunities in front of me. I feel grateful for all the skills I've learned. And so I really go into deep appreciation for everything in my life. And then I come out of it. And that's like my basic foundational meditation to start the day. Now, of course, there's a lot of other meditations that I oftentimes do, but this is my routine that I always do each day to anchor myself, making sure that I'm ready to have the best day of my life. The benefits of doing meditation like this are, of course, you feel peaceful, you feel energized when you start your day, you're getting ready to manifest with intention, you know what you wanna create in the world, and then you feel grateful. So you feel like you already have, you're living in this state of abundance. So it's really beautiful because as I always talk about on this channel, the state that you're creating inside is gonna create your external world. So if you make this feel good before you start your day or any point, then the world that you're projecting out is gonna to start to align with how you feel within. So that is my personal meditation routine. If you guys wanna learn more about it, definitely drop some comments, questions, anything you want below in the comment section. If you would like access to a seven day guided meditation experience to start your meditation journey, or just get more familiar with the type of meditation that I teach, I have a free meditation app. It's available on Android and iOS. So basically for everyone, it's linked down in the description below. Again, it's free, seven days, and it starts with just five minutes of meditating a day. So I highly recommend you grabbing that. It's linked down in the description below and checking it out and seeing if it's a good way for you to start the day. See if you start to feel more empowered, more ready to create the life that you want. So thank you so much for watching this video today. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like, comment. If you want to hit me up, you can always reach me on Instagram at ZenMasterApp or Twitter at ZenMasterApp. I'm all over the internet. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.